Gandang araw dyan sa inyo mga kapatid. Salamat sa Diyos at nandito naman tayo. Minigyan naman tayo na sa araw sa mundong ito para makapagsilwi sa Kanya. Bueno, hindi na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik. Umpisa na natin ating gawain ngayong araw na ito. Ang tema natin sa araw na ito ay Stand up and lift up your heads. Your redemption is drawing near. Stand up and lift up your heads. Your redemption is is drawing near. Luke 21 verse 28 says, When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. To take up the world we live in. Our World in Data by Hannah Ritchie, Pablo Rosado, and Max Roser. Decadel Average, Annual Number of Deaths, from disasters. Annual number of deaths from disaster. Disasters include all geophysical, meteorological, and climate events, including earthquakes, volcanic activities, landslides, droughts, wildfires, storms, and flooding. Now, from the year 1900 to 2020, more than 500,000 deaths per year more than 500,000 deaths per year. According to the New England Journal of Medicine since 1990, natural disasters have affected about 217 million people each year. 217 million people each year. Now, World Health Organization on the issue of coronavirus COVID-19 dashboard Confirmed cases as of December 22, as of December 22, 763 million, 740,140. That's 6,908,554. United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs Statistic Division. Number one. As of May 2022, a record of 100 million people, 100 million people had been forcibly displaced worldwide. Number two, civilians continue to bear the brunt of violence with record numbers forcibly displaced. Number three, about a third world's population, mostly women, say they feel unsafe walking along in the local neighborhoods at night. Number four, streamlined and transparent business processes can help curb corruption, which is found in every region. Business around the world face obstacles and unfair competition. Globally, almost one to six businesses face requests for bribe payments by public officials. Now, the topic on how close we are to nuclear war by Kelsey D. Atherton, dated November 19, 2022. Given the scenario and the highly volatile condition of war in Ukraine and the growing intensity of China's dream of retaking Taiwan, added to this, is the continuing tense conflict in the Middle East involving Israel and the surrounding Islamic countries, which are their mortal enemies, making all options wide open. Atlantic Magazine on their issue of August 2022. Today, the gloves are finally off. For lack of other options, Russia is opening to Iran and is preparing to establish a new alliance of Parea, vegetative non persona non grata states with Islamic Republic to the detriment and damage of Israel. New outbursts of warlords armed revolution in Sudan has presently flared up. Our ongoing battles in Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, Myanmar, and many other packets of rebellions in various African and Middle East countries are gathering a lot of cadavers amongst the civilian. Foremost of which are the recent advances in military technology 
may may push this world closer to the edge of nuclear war. Now, domestic clock. The domestic clock is a symbol that represents the likelihood of a human-made global catastrophe in the opinion of the members of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. Maintained since 1947, the clock is a metaphor, a symbol for threats to humanity from unchecked scientific and technological advances with midnight, with midnight, 12 o'clock, as its day-day domestay. Every January of each year, the same is assessed with the main factors influencing the clock of nuclear war arrest and climate change. The domestic clock assists at its January 2023 setting is set at 90 seconds to midnight. 90 seconds to midnight, meaning we are barely 90 seconds to the possibility of the doomsday, catastrophe, apocalypse, and time of planet Earth. These awareness are causing real and serious hopelessness, coupled with paralyzing fear, casting dark shadows over the hearts and minds of everyone, including sincere and faithful believers. Hosea 4 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It is true that horrible things will happen in the last days. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 says, But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. Verse 2, For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, slanderers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy. Verse 3, Unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without self-control, brutal, brutal haters of good. Verse 4, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Verse 5, holding to a form of godliness, although they have denied its power. They have denied its power. Satan destroys believers' peace of mind with lies, deception, fraud, and deceit. But this can only happen if we accept those lies. God reveals the coming perilous times in His Word for His chosen ones. God does so for the divine purpose of revealing His mighty power and total control of this world. Now in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Romans 15 verse 13, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Salamat to Jesus. It is easy to be overwhelmed by despair and fear given the current events of the world. Yet, God promised us that He has plans for us that are of a good future with hope. That are of a good future with hope. Through the power of His eternal words of life, quickened by the power of the Holy Spirit, we are able to look forward to the future with an unshakable hope and joy in our spirit to God's destiny in our eternal life. Salamat sa Diyos. God Almighty gives us hope in the fact that all will happen according to His will and purpose. All will happen according to His will and purpose. He details the events that will occur before His coming that will occur before His coming. God is totally in control of this world. Salamat sa Diyos. John 14 verse 1 to 3 says, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. 
In my father's house are many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you because I am going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I am coming again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you also will be. I am coming again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you also will be. Matthew 24, 44 says, For this reason, you must be ready as well. You must be ready as well, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not think He will. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not think He will. We need to be ready ourselves in the light and hope of God's eternal promises. Being prepared brings us peace with enduring hope. Isaiah 26, 3 says, The Lord gives perfect peace to those whose faith is firm, steadfast, stayed on, matatag, nagsalig sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Now, focusing on God and His promises keeps our heart on eternal truth that will not mislead us by the frightening happenings in this self-destructive world. Let us therefore focus our eyes on the very one who has all the powers and authorities in this world. Again, Luke 21 verse 28 says, When these things begin to take place, when these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Meaning, brethren, the hour of the end of this world is at hand, imminent, impending, nalalapit na, hapit na. But we are not to hide, we are not to run, we are not to take over, we are not to duck, we are not to take over. In the first place, no one can escape any catastrophic events like nuclear bomb, or colossal and gigantic worldwide natural act of God destruction? No. Nonetheless, our God will save us from the coming wrath of God. Romans 5, 9 says, Much more than having now been justified by His blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through Him. We shall be saved from the wrath of God through Him. Puritan Bohm says, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Wow, beautiful. Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. 1 Corinthians 15.25 says, For He must reign as King eternal until He has put all His enemies under His feet. Verse 26, The last enemy that will be abolished is death. Then is I stand with Sinunugot. The great King Jesus ushered in a spiritual kingdom while he was on earth. His followers are subjects of a gracious and benevolent King Jesus, who conquered them for himself, ruled over them as Lord, and defends them, and defends them. Salamat sa Diyos. While on earth, Jesus conquered our worst enemies, sin, the devil, the wicked system of this world, death, and hell. His strength is unparalleled, incomparable, and much. He is Lord of the universe. When He returns at the end of the world, we will see Him in all the fullness and glory of His kingly office as He judges the nations establishes the new heavens and the new earth, and brings all things to their ordained conclusions. And brings all things to their ordained conclusions. In this new order, Christ will be exalted as King Eternal, and His people, the redeemed people of God, will joyfully serve Him forever. Will joyfully serve Him forever. Revelation 11:15 says, Then the seventh angel sounded, 
And there were loud voices in, the he in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. And he will reign forever and ever. And he will reign forever and ever. Salamat sa Diyos. Before the end of human history, Jesus will destroy all rivals, both human and demonic entity. Only those who belong to him will be saved. God willing, brethren, in our next video, we will take up the lesson on the rapture of the church. With all due respect, I respectfully subscribe to the doctrine of premillennialism. The doctrine of premillennialism. The belief that Jesus will physically return to earth before the millennium, heralding a literal thousand year golden age of peace. Premillennialism adheres to the beliefs of an earthly millennial reign of Christ as well as the rapture of the church. All believers will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air before, before the great tribulation preceding the millennium. Before the great tribulation preceding the millennium. In short, believers will not go through the great tribulation on the expiration date of this wicked world. Now we'll have a window of grace, brethren, found in Psalm 2 verse 11. Serve and honor the Lord, be glad and tremble. Verse 12, show respect to his son, because if you don't, the Lord might become furious. His anger flares up in an instant. His wrath will be kindled quickly. Magalit siya, bigya kayong parusahan. Kay ang kapungot niya dali ra mo sa laob. Ang kapungot niya dali ra mo sa laob and suddenly destroys you. But he blesses and protects everyone who runs to him. But he blesses and protects everyone who runs to him. God is not our last hope. He is our only hope. He is our only hope. Salamat sa Diyos. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me. From all my fears, he freed me from all my fears. Psalm 34, verse 4. God bless us all. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Mga kapatid, bago tayo maghiwalay-hiwalay, huwag ko tayong matakot kung ano man ang nangyayari sa ating mga paligid sa, sa mundong ito. Ngunit mga kapatid, dapat tayo maging excited dahil we are living in Exciting days, exciting times that right before our eyes, yung mga propesya sa Biblia are now being fulfilled before our very eyes. At ito na ang panahon na dapat maghanda tayo ng tudo sa pagharap sa Diyos. We should be preparing, we should be serious, we should be deeply rooted in God's Word so that we can be prepared in meeting our Creator. I'm not saying the end of the world is coming? No. What I want to point out is the end will definitely come. The end will definitely come. But when? We will not know. We will not know. Meanwhile, the most important thing for us to do is to be prepared. Nakasama ka sa rapture. Salamat sa Diyos. Amos 4.12 Prepare to meet thy God. Stand up, lift up your heads. Your redemption is drawing near victory in Jesus. Salamat sa Diyos mga kapatid. Be encouraged because our time in the future is coming soon, very soon. Be prepared, be excited, and be prepared to meet your Savior in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos.